In this video, we're going to show you how to use the review meeting tool in one file. Now, the review meeting tool is a simple tool that allows you to record the details of progress review meetings that you hold with your trainee, including agreed actions for the following period. Now, we know that there are trainers and supervisors that already use this tool a lot on different programs. And under the new STP progression review arrangements, training officers will be required to use the review meeting tool in one file to record an end of year progress meeting. So let's have a look at how this simple tool works. So here we are in one file logged in as a training officer. And you can find the part of one file where you initiate review meetings via your trainee dashboard on your one file landing page. I need to scroll down the page in order to see my trainee dashboard. And I think the first important thing to say here is that a review meeting is something that's initiated by the trainer. It's a trainer led feature. <clears throat> so in order to get to the part of one file where we manage review meetings, all we do is click on this button under the next review date column in the trainee dashboard. So if I click on that, it gets us to that um, the review meetings for this particular trainee, the review meetings area for this particular trainee. This happens to be a screen where uh, of a trainee that I've held a lot of review meetings uh, with, but if I've heard enough, if I've held no meetings, the top of the screen looks the same. So the first thing we have to do when we are um, setting up a review meeting is we have to schedule it. So one file asks you to schedule the meeting. So let's just do that. Let's schedule it for February 9th, 2024. It will end on the same day. Rather unnecessarily, one file asks you to schedule a start and an end time. So let's just do that. Let's say the meeting is going to start at 12 and it's going to finish at 1. <clears throat> and we're also um, asked by one file to whether this is a remote session or a face to face meeting. Let's say this is a face to face meeting, so we need to give it a room number Let's, or, or a location. Let's set a room number in there. But that's what we've done. We've now scheduled a review meeting <clears throat> and we then have to hit schedule review. So that meeting is now scheduled. <clears throat> and if we scroll to the bottom of the list of of scheduled meetings, you now see this button here for start to start a review meeting. So when you come to hold the meeting or to record the details of the meeting, you click on start. So let's do that and let's see what happens at the very start of a review meeting. <clears throat> so what we can see here, which is quite a, quite a neat feature in one file, is that as you initiate and start a new um, review meeting, one file dynamically shows you any progress the trainee has made on a module by module basis since the last time they met and if uh, since the last time you met and if it's your first meeting, then it's it, it will just give you all progress, I guess. So here we have a, a trainee whereby um, since their last review meeting, they've made a 14% a gain in progress um, on uh, this module here, the introduction to hematology and transfusion science and a 23 percent uh, change in their progress um, on this module down here, genetics, genomics and molecular science. <clears throat> so it's a handy tool that one file provides you with in order to see um, how progress has gone um, in the recent period. Another little neat thing that one file does at the very top of this review meeting page is it, it collects together links to all of the submissions that have been completed and signed off since the last meeting. So if we wanted to go back and review the trainees work, we've got one, two, three, four, in this case, five submissions that they have made since their last review meeting. And if we clicked on each of those links, we could open um, those submissions and have a look at them. But what we then see uh, on this page is a series of fields that you can choose to flexibly record your discussions within your progress review meeting. And uh, none of these fields are mandated by the system. And you know when you um, you can choose to make the, re the record of the meeting live within the actual progress review meeting you hold with the trainee, or you can make the record afterwards. But let's just look down at the fields 
that uh, one file makes available. You can choose exactly um, how you wish to use this. So to begin with, it, under review for individual units, units is one file speak for modules. You could record some progress about um, the specific individual modules. And in the uh, in the case of this um, in the case of this training, we saw that there were two modules in particular where they had made some significant progress. So if there was anything that uh, either you or the trainee wish to record, and it has to be input by you, the training officer, you could select one of those modules. So if we selected um, 402, which was that genomics module, we could uh, we could record some details here. And I'm just going to copy in some dummy Latin text as a placeholder for text here. So as you as you see there, we can um, we can record on a module by module basis uh, any notes or, or discussions about progress against individual modules. We can also record uh, progress more or notes about our discussion more generically within this box uh, entitled review for all units. So again, I'll, I'll copy some text in there should I wish to do so. There is a, there's an opportunity to attach documents here. So if there was anything you wanted to share with the trainee at this point in time, uh, any papers, any revised plans, whatever you would like to share or, or, or bring together, could even be your training plan document and store as part of this uh, review meeting, you can attach uh, a document to the record of the meeting. And not, not unlike review for all units, there's also this feedback and comments box here that allows you to record um, some comments. In fact, the trainee can, when they receive the this the record of the form, they can comment back on these. So just a bunch of fields for you to record um, some of the details of your progress discussion. And then the tool finishes with a, a simple, again, free text box for you to record um, actions. So let's just type in here very quickly some placeholder text and we'll let that take the place of a number of actions which as you conclude the meeting or as you go through the the, the discussion with your trainee you've agreed some actions so it really is a, a relatively simple form um that you have to uh, available to you to um to record your progress review meeting and you can do this as often as you like to record review meetings. But as I said, as part of the new STP progression monitoring process, trainers are required to hold a, and record a review meeting in one file using this tool at the end of year one and at the end of year two. So let's just complete this record here. Once you've you've made your record of, of your progress review meeting, um, and as I said, none of the fields are mandatory, um, you have to sign it. So I'm going to sign this as the uh, as the assessor in, in one file speak and hit save. And that's that record now saved and the trainee will receive a task in one file to themselves sign it. So you're both agreeing to the record. But what then happens is that the record uh, sits or the record of the review meeting sits alongside records of all review meetings that you may have uh, had with your trainee, conducted with your trainee and recorded uh, in the review meeting tool. And at any point in time, you can go back and open the record so you can see um, what was agreed, what was discussed, what the actions are. And in fact, of course, you, you may very well wish to do that uh, within a review meeting itself. Look at the records from the previous meeting before you then um, go ahead to make a record of the current meeting. Just close this and go back. But there you have really the um, the review meeting tool in one file. You go to your trainees, uh, the trainee dashboard on your home page. You click on uh, you click in the review meeting column, the blue button there. You schedule your meeting when it comes to the point that you want to record your review, your review meeting. You can do it live. You can do it after the meeting. You do so in that really simple form. And then once once your record is complete, there's a signature, Jenny signs, and the record stays there as a permanent record of the, re the progress review that you can go and look at and the trainee can look at whenever they like. It keeps your discussions, keeps your um, your actions that you agreed all in the one place inside one file for you and your trainee to review. So that concludes and I'll just go back to the home page 
by way of conclusion, that concludes this introduction to the review meeting tool. As I said, last point, click on this button under next review date, you get to the place where you can manage these meetings. And from there on in, it's a simple setup and then record process.